Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss any future uploads. So today's video is a little different. Um, I wanted to attempt to do some encapsulated gel polish nails um, just for this specific design. Honestly, whenever she sent me, um, you know, her inspiration, I was just trying to think of like the easiest way to complete the design and be able to, you know, give her a feel the next time we do her nails without having to like remove everything if she wanted to completely change her design. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be, it's going to look like I'm kind of all over the place, but what I'm doing right now is I'm just adding clear acrylic on like a thin layer of clear acrylic to all the nails, which is normal for my acrylic application. I know in the past, if you've seen any of my past videos, I had discussed that I was trying to get away from that, but I can't do it. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'm pretty sure I'm going to go ahead and add uh, extra acrylic and build up the nail on nails that I'm only going to be using polish on. So basically what I'm going to be showing you here soon is gel polish um, ombre with acrylic and I'm gonna use some glitter and stuff like that so yeah but I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys um, watch this process and then I will pop back in in a minute Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start with my gel polish application. Um, I have learned just recently and I feel like, no, I did know during this video. Um, I feel like I was just trying to be safe because I was using um, acrylic over these nails. But I've learned that you don't need base coat over acrylics whenever you're trying to paint polish, like gel polish. And that probably is the answer to all of my problems when it comes to applying gel polish on nails is maybe the gel polish the base coat you know got a little messy and then i'm basically just painting right over that so i'm not even gonna lie it's definitely made a huge difference in what my gel polish application looks like when i do not use base coat over acrylics now you obviously need base coat when you're like just doing like a gel manicure um, or something like that but you don't need the base coat over acrylic application. So what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of making 
the start of my ombre and I'm you know just like I would do with acrylic uh, I'm just putting my product halfway down the nail I'm not even really concerned here to like blend it upward the cover color that I'm using is a pretty good cover color and it was very easy to blend this color and not only that I will be using glitter on one of the nails so you know there's just a lot of layers going on so it's you know it's fine that I didn't blend it up at least for me in my opinion but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and add on two coats of this I do go ahead and add I'm not sure if you guys remember but I used the 7-in-1 base coat from my fit nails their store is actually closed and it has been closed for a few months now they're in the process of moving um, their business and their home and things like that so yeah but I did not show that part I did go ahead and add that 7-in-1 base coat you could probably just add a regular base coat maybe I don't I don't think you could add a top coat because it wouldn't make the acrylic able to like stick but yeah I just added a base coat so that way I don't ruin my gel polish when I go in with my acrylic and I'm just doing that ombre and encapsulating the ombre portion you don't necessarily need to encapsulate the whole nail on ombre so you just really need to protect that ombre portion which is normally around in the middle of the nail that's one thing that I've had to learn here lately as well Now I'm going to go into this finger and complete this ombre and then I'm going to add a couple of glitters. I am using Dazzling Silver from My Fit Nails for the silver glitter and then the pinkish type glitter is from Profiles Backstage and I'm pretty sure it's called Fight Like a Girl. I do have coupon codes for both of those um, companies. My Fit Nails is still closed but for Profiles Backstage that's what this color is. I was I kind of got ahead of myself and just started putting the glitter everywhere and that's not what I wanted to do so I had to kind of correct it and just move that glitter down because I'm just I'm kind of ombre the glitter as well so that way it has a nice blend um, but yeah I really enjoyed this set I know it's still a little weird because you guys I haven't filed or anything yet and I'm already like going in and putting stuff on the nails you know polish wise but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and complete this application um, I'm going to encapsulate these nails, but I will go ahead and let you guys watch this process on the other hand.
Now I'm going in with my Tammy Taylor Pill and Stick hand file and I'm just like filing the sides of these nails. Um, this is one step that I am going to try again <laughs> to take out. I've gotten in such a habit of doing certain things but I'm really trying to cut down my time. Um, and if you guys are familiar, you know that I went to the Not Polish class with V Nailed It and Tao. I have always pronounced her name wrong, but it's okay. Everybody pronounces my name wrong. So I hope she's not, you know, I hope it didn't upset her or anything. But yeah, I definitely enjoyed that class. I mean, and there were plenty of other educators there as well. Um, but yeah, like V will go in and reshape, but Tao will not. She uses her drill and she taught me how to use my drill to shape. I don't really know how well it would have worked like for this set because it's so short but i'm super excited to just start like for real implementing all of the things that i learned so yeah but now i'm gonna go ahead and go in and try to seal this cuticle for these nails and then i'm going to go in with my gel polish application um i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys for all of your support and watching and entering in the giveaways and things like that i definitely have way more to come um but yeah i'll let you guys go ahead and finish watching this and i will see you guys in my next one Could I taste them for real?